Hey, voters. Um, today, I am going to be taking the political compass test for you. I think uh, this is just going to be, you know, kind of fun video. Sort of explaining my beliefs and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go, I'm going to kind of be taking it and, I, and sort of explaining my rationale. All right, so first page. If economic globalism is inevitable, we sh it should primarily serve humanity rather than, than the interest of transnational corporations. Certainly agree. Um, you know, we got to do stuff in the interest of humanity. Uh, all right, what's next? I'd always support my country whether it was right or wrong. Um, I would say disagree because, you know, supporting your country no matter what can lead to not great things. All right. Um, no one chooses their country of birth, so it's foolish to be proud of it. Um, no, because, okay, I'm going to say disagree. Um, because even though you don't choose your country of birth, you can make your country better. So if you, um, you know, do something to make your country better, then you can be proud of your country because you input it in some way to make it better. Um, all right. Our, yeah, our race has many superior qualities compared to other races. Uh, yeah, I don't really need to explain why I strongly disagree with that. Uh, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Uh, I'm going to say agree. Um, it's not strongly agree, um, but like, you know, it, it, in certain situations, yeah. Uh, military action that defies international law is sometimes justified. It depends, yeah. Well, yeah, I'm going to say it depends. Um, it says sometimes, like it's not saying always. You you know you can say agree to that. Um, there's warring fusion of information and entertainment. Uh, no, I strongly disagree because I feel like information and entertainment um, can be connected, and it's like not a problem that they're connected. Because um, like this is sort of information, but it's mostly entertainment right now. This video, and there's more like informational things, but it's, like a little bit less entertaining. But there's still like a combination of both. Um, and like you know, um, entertainment gets people through the door, so. I wouldn't necessarily say like it's like super bad um, that we have information and entertainment, but I'm open to having my mind changed from that. So if anybody wants to tell me their opinion on that. Sorry, I'm just cleaning my glasses. They're called they're all dirty. All right. The people are ultimate. All right. So second page economy. You are uh, are ultimately divided more by class and nationality. I would say probably. Mm, I'm having between strongly agree and agree. Um, normally I put agree to this, but now that I'm thinking about it, like, but mm, I would say like people are divided more by class and race. Yeah, yeah, I'd probably say people are more divided by class and race. So if I think that, then nationality is like obviously a lot less, um, like structured than race. So I would say. Agree. Well, you know, I'll just say agree because, um, like you can, you would still have like divisions from nationality that can be created from governments or whatever. So it's not like necessarily that, like you can still have differences than people of your same class because of your nationality. But I don't know if that's what they're really asking. Like, could you sympathize with a worker from, you know, whatever Europe? Uh, yeah, but here's the thing, like, a, a worker in Europe has better rights than a worker in the United States, so you can't empathize with them as much because of their nationality, because of their nation, um, is like, you know, it's better, it, they have more, um, you know, workers' rights there, so you can't, you can't, um, well, I guess it says divided more by class and nationality. I don't know, I, yeah, I'll just say agree, because, like, yeah, because because of that, because um, the nationality can change a lot of things. Okay, my glasses just, I guess aren't gonna be clean today. Um, I keep cleaning them, but they're, they're not clean. Anyways, all right. Uh, controlling inflation is more important than controlling unemployment. Um, I would say disagree, like to an extent, obviously, because you don't want to have huge inflation, uh, even though you have like 100% unemployment. I mean, 100% <laughs> employment, not unemployment. Jesus. Um, Hey, because corporations cannot be trusted to voluntarily protect the environment, they require regulation. Strongly agree. Uh, it's like in their interest to not protect the environment. So, yeah. Uh, for each according to his ability, each according to his need is a fundamentally good idea. Um, yeah, I would say agree.
because you know like people have uh, capabilities that they're able like able to do um and they're not like any less of a person uh because like they can't do as much stuff and like for example like old people right they can't um input as much into the economy but like should we um should we not give them um like should we give them the same amount that we give you know um a healthy worker who has done the motivation and like time you know like it's not time but yeah, yeah you know what i'm saying like you know like you know if we if we gave it everybody the same thing then you know elderly people will get the same benefits as um you know workers yeah you know what i'm saying um the free of the market the free of the people strongly disagree it is a sad reflection in our society that something as basic as drinking water is now a bottled branded consumer product yeah i would, I would say agree um i mean yeah I, yeah I'll, I'll just keep i'll leave it at agree i don't I mean, I, I guess I don't have any reason to strongly disagree with this. Like, like basic, basic things are instead of we're like, instead of we're, instead of the fact that we're like trying to work towards making sure everybody has water, or sh like shelter or whatever, we're trying to sell it. So I guess, yeah, that would, that would be. Yeah. Land shouldn't be a commodity that's bought and sold. Um, I want to say disagree, but okay. So, you know, land is like I guess if you can buy land, then that means you have a capital, so that contributes to wealth inequality. So yeah, I'll say disagree um, because I just think that like buying and selling of land is so fundamental to our society right as of now, like to get rid of it would be i mean that's not what the question asks but um i'm just having trouble um agreeing with that okay so it's regrettable that many personal fortunes are made by people who simply manipulate money and contribute nothing to society um i would say like normally i would say agree but i'm leaning towards more strongly agree right now because um, Moss just became the second richest person on the world uh, just because of uh, Tesla being added to S&P 500 and like that's like you know he, he didn't do like he didn't do any work um, to add it to S&P 500 so like he didn't he didn't contribute you know obviously he did something but he didn't he didn't, he didn't contribute enough work to become the second richest person in the world um, so i don't know but it, like the thing is like for like you know stock traders right you still have to go to school to figure it out and like it, it's a job and you're still inputting labor um but i guess most of what you're doing is is trading stocks not with your own money but with other people's money who are far richer than you and not actually and those people aren't actually doing anything and the stock traders yeah they're making money but like that would that would only be if they offer up their own capital um and most people aren't going to be offering up their own capital unless they're rich um, to make any significant uh, personal fortune on the stock market. So I, yeah, I guess I'll say SLS. I'll, I'll say strongly agree. No, I say agree to that, but I guess that's different now. Uh, protectionism is sometimes necessary in trade. I'll say agree, because like, you know, the sometimes stuff, like there's always gonna be situations in which you need certain things. Um, but I won't say strongly agree. All right, the only social responsibility of a company should be to deliver profit to its shareholders. Strongly disagree. If you like, you know, if you're if you're like companies like I don't know like going around killing people and like taking you know like looting their like jewelry or whatever like you know if you're just robbing people like and that's your whole company and like to say that was legal if if it was legal obviously it's not gonna be legal but um if your whole company is like robbing people and then you know you're making enormous profits for your shareholders is that a good thing no because you're uh, destroying society rich are too highly taxed strong disagree should be taxed way more. Those with the ability to pay should have higher standard access to higher standards of medical care. I would say, yeah, disagree because, like, I'm just thinking if I should put, wait, yeah, yeah. I, I'm just thinking if, if I should put strongly disagree because, you know, everybody's, everybody's like, just, um, you know, everybody's human and rich people aren't more human than anybody else or anybody else isn't less human. So, why? um 
Mm. I guess like I'm just thinking like you know like if you're really rich and you you know you should be able to go to the best doctor but if we had universal health care you could also still go to the best doctor anyways um and you just wouldn't pay as much does that make sense what i'm saying like um you know say the, the best doctor in the world lives in like i don't know texas right um or best doctor in the u.s or whatever you know um and so you know if you want to go to texas um or you or you happen to live in texas then you have access to that doctor so um those with the ability to pay to go see that doctor you know to f go fly to texas to see the doctor um still have access to that so i guess i'll put strongly disagree i mean i guess that's not really what they're what they're asking but i think that's like the implication um yeah all right governments should penalize businesses that mislead the public strongly agree you don't want to mislead the public Genuine free market requires restrictions on the ability of predator multinationals to create monopolies. Strongly agree. Um, well, I mean, obviously, then it wouldn't be a free market, but like a, a good market. But I are they they kind of conflating free and good in like the same sense, aren't they? Um, hmm. Well, it wouldn't be a free market if they did that, but it would be a good market. So. Oh well, they're saying like, okay, so you're free. You're free to start up your own business and have capital and not be like bullied by monopoly. So yeah, so that would make it more free. It just technically wouldn't be free in terms of how we think it. Abortion when a woman's life is not threatened should always be legal. Strongly disagree. Agree. Um, I said it's neutral sometimes. Um. I guess this is about criminal justice, isn't it? Um, not necessarily. Taxpayers should be expected to survive. Taxpayers should not be expected to prop up any theaters or museums that cannot survive on a commercial basis. No, because we create culture um, through our theaters and museums and um, we educate people. So they don't necessarily have to make a profit to be a good service. Um, schools should not make classroom attendance compulsory. Um, compulsory. Um, hmm. I would say discreet. Because, you know, we need, need people to go to school, but, yep. Yeah. All people have their rights, but it's better for all of us that um, different sorts of people should keep their to their own kind. No because then you have separate groups and we're all one people. So we want to desegregate as much as possible. Good parents sometimes have to spank their children. I, it's kind of in like the, the way this question is phrased. Um, if you're a good parent, then you shouldn't need to spank your child. Like you, like they should, they should be disciplined like from virtue of you being a good parent. You know, you shouldn't have to discipline them by spanking your child. Then you wouldn't be a good parent because some, at some point you went wrong and um, weren't able to make your child listen to you. So I would say strongly disagree. Well, I'd say disagree. Um, it's natural for children to keep some secrets from their parents. Yeah, I strongly agree. Is this marijuana for personal use should not be criminal offense. Um, the prime function of schooling should be to equip future generations to find jobs, kind of. Um, like, you know, you can learn other stuff from school like about your passions and stuff so yeah people with serious inheritable diseases disabilities should not be allowed to reproduce um disagree the most important thing for children to learn is to accept this plan strongly disagree there's more important things to learn than that like if 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 you know if you wanted to ask me like is is it good for children to um learn how to accept discipline i'd say like maybe like at the most, I would say maybe. Um, yeah. There are no savage people, savage or civilized peoples. There are only different cultures. Yeah, I'll say agree with that. Um, yeah, I'll say agree. Well, should I put strongly agree? Because, like, hmm. 
Uh, yeah, I put strongly agree because that was like that, you know, civilization is a social construct. <clears throat> civilization is a social construct. So, yeah. All right, those who are able to work and refuse the opportunity should not accept accept society support. It depends what their definition of the, um, able to work is here. Like, you know, like if you're like physically able to work, then um, should you be expected to work? No, because you know you can have some mental stuff going on, and sometimes you just don't want to work. Um, but if like if like you're fine with working and you're perfectly able to physically and mentally, then are you kind of freeloading by not? But you, if, if, but you know, but humans enjoy work, don't they? So um, I would say disagree. I think we should support everybody regardless because when you get into that, like then you have to decide who's deserving and who's like actually able to work. And then, you know, no one can really decide that besides yourself. So, all right. When you are troubled, it's better not to think about it, but to keep busy with more truthful things. I feel like this is like just a thing about me. Um, like that's a bad Kevin mechanism, but yeah. First generation immigrants can never be fully integrated within their new country. I would agree with that being like, you know, having lived in an international location myself, like you always, you always have some sort of elements of your home country um, brought with you. And like, you don't have to fully integrate um, within one generation. You know, that's perfectly normal and acceptable and understandable why, why you wouldn't be able to fully integrate within one generation, even two, even three. Um, yeah. So I don't, I, don't, I don't see it as a bad thing that they're not fully integrating, but I wouldn't expect anybody to really fully integrate. And I don't think you really could um, within one, one generation or not even one generation, zero, <clears throat> zero generations. Because, you know, they, yeah. Uh, what's good for most successful corporations is always ultimately good for us. Strongly disagree. Brings back to the um, company that robs people example. No broadcasting institution, however independent its content shall receive public funding. Um, I mean, if it was if it was really independent, then. But it's saying like you know, would this corrupt? Would this ultimately lead to corruption? I mean, probably yeah, if it had public funding. But like, think about it this way: um, the post office, they receive public funding, yet they do a good job. I don't know if that's an equivalent example. Um, I'll say like kind of yeah. I'll say I kind of kind of agree. But like the BBC is pretty well. Yeah. All right. Hopefully what I'm like saying is making sense and I need to work on enunciating a little more um, so that it's easier for you to understand what I'm saying. But hopefully I'm doing that. Our civil liberties are being excessively curbed in the name of counterterrorism. Strongly agree. A uh, significant advantage of a one party state is that it avoids all arguments that delay progress in a democratic political system. No, because that would be a dictatorship. That's where like the significant advantages. Um, well, I guess I'll say agree, but like, um, you know, that would, that would really be a dictatorship because you're still going to have arguments within your own party. Um, yeah. but, it, but like, obviously that is the advantage. I don't see how this is saying like it's a good thing to have one party state by asking this question. Um, it's just like a fact of how, you know, like the more, the, the fewer, um, the, the more control you give uh, so, uh, like a smaller group of people, the you know, the faster bureaucracy was, is eliminated, so yeah. But like, it's not obviously not necessarily a good thing. All right, although the electronic age makes official surveillance easier, only wrong viewers need to be worried. No, um, just because you don't have anything to hide doesn't mean that you should uh, give over your, um, all your information. Um, I would say strongly disagree. Wait, I strongly disagree. <clears throat> Wait, oh shoot, I actually put uh, strongly agree on that. Let me just make sure I didn't. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll probably do a def video link on the death penalty at some point in the future, but yeah, I don't agree with it. Um, I don't know, for like, for like, I don't know, like 10 cases per, like a case per year, maybe you would need the death penalty, but like, it depends on what you define as most serious crime. Do you kind of define that as like murder or do you find that as like um, treason or something, you know? 
in a civilized society, one must always have the peop uh, have people above to be obeyed and people below to be commanded. Um, I don't know. That seems kind of a little dystopian. Abstract art doesn't represent anything at all and should be considered. No, it's subjective. Um, yeah. In art is subjective is what I was just trying to say. Um, in criminal justice, punishment should be more important than rehabil uh, rehabilitation. Yeah, there you go. I said it right. Um, yeah, strongly disagree is, you know, that's not, you just, at that point, you're just like promoting crime. If you're not trying to uh, like, you know, rehabil rehabilitate people. Yeah. Um, it's a waste. <clears throat> I say disagree because, like, you know, there's some people that you can't fix, but like, you know, a, a large amount of people you can fix. You know, like, you know, your whole lifetime is a long time. If you think about it, like, you know, what we're like 16, um, like, like, I don't know, 14 to 18, I guess, would be kind of the range probably of people on the site. Um, you know, just think about how, like, your whole, like, opinion, like, think about how much that could change in another 15 years or another 30 years, another 50 years, you know? Uh, the business person and the manufacturer are more important than the writer and the artist. artist. Um, no, all humans are equally important. Uh, mothers may have careers with their first duties to be homemakers. Um, not necessarily, no. Um, like, yeah, not necessarily, because um, like this is saying like, do you would you enforce patriarchal society? I don't really see the question as being effective in this way, but um, like obviously they can have jobs, um, but they're first. I, I guess it's saying like you know, are are mothers naturally responsible for taking care of children? And I would say no. I would say no. Um, multinational cor uh, companies are unethically exploiting the plant, the plant genetic resources of, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, making peace with the establishment is an important aspect of maturity. No, you don't have to be mature to make peace with the establishment. Uh, I, no. Um, so the, I just, is, is kind of trash in my opinion. Um, you cannot be moral without being religious. No. Wait, shoot. All right. I almost did that wrong again. Um, charity is better than social security as a mean, no, nope. uh, not at all. You shouldn't like have to like cross your fingers that someone decides to be nice to you in order to like live. Uh, nope. Um, it is important that my child's school instills religious values. No, I want my child to be able to determine their own uh, religious values through their own path. Sex outside marriage is usually moral. No, well, no. Um, same, same sex couple in a stable, loving relationship should not be excluded. Yeah, obviously. Um, should be legal. I mean, I guess I'll say agree, but like, It'd be, be like society would be better off without it, you know. Um, but I guess it's here, so yeah. Um, I strongly agree. Nope, I'm not homosexual, so I wouldn't know how it feels. Um, therefore, I can't pass judgment. Mm, I'll say disagree. I don't want to be like. You know, pull a bench bear on this, but yeah, I'll just say, I'll just say the screen. It's up to personal preference, I suppose. Um, all right. <clears throat> yeah, now let's see what I got. Huh. Hmm. Weird. Mm hmm. I used to be like here for those who don't know. So. I'm gonna trust this with like this location being a little bit more where I'm at. Like you know, um, it changes a lot, I guess. But it's it stayed like I stabilized around here, um, around this location. Like I took it three times, and they always like it was around this part. Um, like okay, so first time I took it, it was here, and I went here, and I went here, 
and then here and then here yeah here so you know like this lo this region like i always i was pulled there and then there um so i feel like this region is really where i'm at um so yeah i don't know what happened here um but uh yes yeah, so that's my um political compass test a bit freaked out that i moved so far right i mean i'm still on the left i guess um yeah i don't know i changed a lot of my answers like of what i normally do maybe it's just for the video like that might have influenced me um but yeah just uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna keep my position as being here um yeah all right hope you guys hopefully you guys enjoyed I'll leave your responses in the comments um I think we're just gonna we're gonna have our abundance um, do more of these because it's like you know it's a pretty easy piece of content to produce and um, you know I find it enjoyable to watch of the political pundits I watch um, for them to take their compass test and explain their rationale. So I hopefully this was helpful and um, fun to watch. And let me stop sharing. All right, well uh, that's gonna be about it for today. Thank you, young voters, and um, I will see you next time. Goodbye.